It's not really incest because she's only my first cousin. Dude, it smells... Oh, hang on. Oh. It smells like piss. Is that is that something that you've done? Mm-mm. So why does it, it smell smells like... smells like urine. What have you done? Nothing. It's suspicious Start that again. you bring that Start up. Start again. We're starting again. It's suspicious that you bring that up. We're starting the podcast again. We'll leave, kind of leave all of this in. He needs to learn. If he's going to piss somewhere in the house, he needs to be held accountable. He can't just say it smells like piss and then not talk about it. Leave it in. He's pissed somewhere other than a toilet. It happens all the time. I see streaks of urine across the lounge room floor. Streaks of urine across the bathroom floor. Urine trickling down the staircase. Sometimes I p- see piss splattered on the wall. So you're hitting your stream. You've, you've got your stream and you're, you're slapping the stream against the wall. Like that. I've seen you do it. I see, I see the pattern of piss on the walls. You do do that. So don't cut this, Connor. Leave it in. He needs to learn that you can't just say that and that, that he's pissed somewhere and he doesn't want anyone else to know he's pissed somewhere in the house. He needs a kitty litter the size of a bathtub. You spit in my house. I've trained my dog to lick my spits up. So I'll have you apologize, please. half ass sorry. Welcome to episode number 34. Uh, this is um, Marty and Michael, fully actual. We worked so hard today and we didn't get our job done. But to be real with you boys, I just want you to know, like, we wouldn't be here without the fans. So just, like, always be like, like, oh, man, I love them, man. Love it. So, like, just, like, thank you so much for, like, watching and listening and that and always just like remember that show this to people show it to people because we're not really getting anywhere with it we don't get paid for this so just show it to a lot of people soon because we're thinking about stopping my aunties and uncles have stopped they're the same people his aunties and uncles are the same thing that's how how long we've been doing this for without pay so just just remember that as you're listening to this and like you know you you might only like laugh like this you might only go <laughs> at something that we've said in a half hour period that's enough like try and give that <laughs> to someone else like show it to one of your friends and say um oh these guys maybe go <laughs> and show it to them but if that doesn't happen obviously don't show it to anyone we don't want to like embarrass you <laughs> in front of your friends but like you know, if if we make you smile a bit, just maybe mention it. Maybe mention it to, I don't know, people that you feel comfortable mentioning it to. If you don't feel comfortable mentioning it to people, then just keep it to yourself and don't listen to our podcasts anymore. But like, it, you know, if, if, if you want to, show someone. But if you don't want to, then don't. So really, what I'm trying to say is don't, don't show anyone no, if no. you don't want to. You know what I mean? We are not. And we're so bad at promo. Fuck. I was trying to promote it then. Yeah. Michael's gone and sliced his finger on a coconut today. We worked so hard today and we didn't get the video done. We tried to recreate the Big Bang. What we've been doing for the last like four Thursdays is 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 like really difficult things. And, and the videos that have the really difficult things don't even do that well. No one likes them. So Everyone just likes it when I just drink my ass off, pass out, and then she fucks me physically. The fake tan prank video that we filmed when we went camping with Shami took like 10 minutes to film. Fucks with my psyche because it's like you've got to get fucked up to the point where you black out and that's glorified. But when we try and do good and create scientific experiments... And it doesn't go anywhere and it takes two fucking, three weeks, three sessions. Oh my God. You wait till this fucking golf video. God damn it. Bruising and the Big Bang video. We haven't even finished. I'm over it. All we need to do is get Michael spastic drunk until he can't, until he's unconscious. And then I just need to 
color him or something. And then that video will get more views, 10 times more views than the videos where we put in four or five days full of effort. science, full science shit. But that's a, it's not your fault. No, it is. Yeah, you're right. It's their fault. They are promoting me getting fucked up. What the fuck are you doing? Like, look, look at look at the production value. Look at it. Like, it's I've put a bit of fake tan on him. Like, it's not that crazy. All right, that video is going crazy. No, it, uh, yeah, and you tell me, drink more, drink. Well, you won't scold the beer. And we- he makes me say that. He, he say, smashed he says, both of my back windows out on, in my car and didn't. It offered to pay once or fuck. He's just like, yeah, I wake up with brown shit all over me and then the back windows are gone and there's glass all through my car. My girlfriend won't drive in my car anymore because the whole night you and Jay were opening the back door up and pissing in the back seat. I've got my clothes that I haven't put in the fucking washing machine yet and they're out in the lawn and they've got piss and fake tan all over them. Okay. Justify that. Like, look at it from my point of view. Jay said, do it. Fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, as if I'm not going to do it. And then also, like, when you were passed out, like, I was like, oh, I'm going to put fake tan on me because, like, it'll be funny. So, like, like yeah, of, course, yeah. of course I'm going to do that. No, so, so like, like, yeah, yeah. So, like, you know. Before we continue, it'd be good if you could maybe apologize. I don't know. It was very hostile. Oh, the half ass apology. I'll do the second half on that one and I'll poll. I'll poll. I'll accept that half apology because. Is he got some blood? He has some blood on his. Blood on me from the coconuts we threw for the oh, big he's band. He's loving blood on me, so he doesn't actually. No, blood brothers. Anyway, that's shit talk this week. Let's get into the real shit, which is... All right, so this is the uh, podca- podcast episode 32. Is that what we're reading the comments from? I don't know. Yes. I can't see. Let, let's say yes. Let's pretend like we put put some preparation time into this. Mm. Uh, when is Michael expected to die? Uh, 43 from the latest doctors that he's visited. So 43. When will his MS finish him? 43. Where will he be buried? In the uh, Wyvernhoe Dam. Where's that? I definitely noticed how... F- oh, I haven't told... Yeah, Wyvernhoe Dam. Yeah, yeah, Michael will be buried in the Wyvernhoe Dam. I've already discussed it with everyone that knows you. Oh, wow. Someone anyway, knows that. I definitely noticed how fat Michael got because when I started watching him, he was like Gollum. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess it's a compliment. I miss Gollum, though. I looked like I look back at past videos and I reckon I look better then than I do now. Gollum had abs, but Gollum can't carry a TV. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. it's pros and cons. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Is it weird that I wanted to do the drugs you were saying and actually put my thumb on my bum? What what what, what was that? At, like, I don't know. A couple of episodes ago, we must have spoken about drugs, which is so unlike us. But no, that's normal. That's normal, Mason. Do it. Whatever your instincts tell you, just thumb your bum and do it. Don't you think? See? Next question. Talk about trains. Julian? <laughs> we, we, the, uh, a guy uh, we know, and, you know, he's in social media too, I guess. Like, Should we give his tag out? It's Julian Woods. On Is that Instagram. right? Uh, he uh, he loves trains, but he he vandalizes them, and he made national news headlines when he vandalized like a really famous train. What was it called? Oh, we can't take, we can't. Yeah, no comment. It's called the no. I oh, yeah, we can't comment. So yeah, he's uh, so it's Julian Woods. Uh, DM him and ask him what the fuck happened because he knows more about trains than most trains do. Like, apparently, if you put a 10-cent coin at the tracks, like, before the I've barriers seen it come down... I've seen that happen. It triggers it early, and the train shuts down, and then you come out of the bush with spray paint. Wearing and balaclavas, and you, you don't can want spray to get paint them. You can spray paint this if you whole want. fucking thing. If you want, you can do that. So, is your little tip for you 
15 year olds watching river city why are you the guy the best i don't know how you're so good at everything well squishy bread uh great question so let, let me just give that a quick thumbs up there uh yeah so yeah we're, we're born with it uh you can't learn it you can't uh practice what we have Either you're born with it or you're not um you either are the best or you're a piece of fucking shit no, that needs to be no in between i reckon yeah yeah sometimes you can be average and you just go do average things or you can be a piece of shit and go do piece of shit things but if you know you're the best be the best and do the best and are the best <clears throat> we are this whole I reckon Michael would have killed AFL. No, that's a lie. Favorite tennis player, one-handed or two-handed backhand? Favorite tennis player. Uh, Fuck, it's hard because you me. want... Uh, yeah. I and, and one-handed because that's what I had. And no, you had a two and then I gave you my racket and fucked your technique up but it was because of bad technique that i chose to change to a one-hander and it's self-taught so i have a bit of pride in the self-taughtness of the one-hander a one-hander, so one-hander feels so good when, when you, you nail, nail that dog i'm one hand fucking too. hit that dog flush on the shit that and it fucking blows. slit some dog's shit up fucking fucked it it's the best shit in the fuck off it but is. two hands is like feels the same it's every time it's like it's like it's like fisting instead of fingering yeah like, Fisting is like you know you know it's working, but you don't it's really too far feel it. fisting, and you know that she's broken. Yeah, and fingering's like there's a bit of finesse about it. There's a it's bit romantic. of skill involved. It's romantic. That's what a one hand it is. It's romantic. A two hand, it's forced and a bit, a bitch, a bitch. Sorry, I don't tell anyone about you guys anymore. Okay, <laughs> both of you. Ah, uh, whales, so disappointed in your weight gain. Haha, <laughs> kidding. Michael actually looks good with meat on his bones. Marty looks the same to me. Michael's <sighs> just finished pissing, so now we move on to the next segment, which has been renamed. <laughs> that was Luciferian. Yeah, well, that roughly translates to give me your heart in Latin. And this segment roughly translates to a uh, guest, a guest appearing on the show. And for this week, some of you may know him. He is called Justin Ryan. He is one of the most controversial social media influencers in Australia. You'll find out why. He, all of his, all of his, his Facebook page got deleted. His Instagram's been deleted. His Snapchat was getting five hundred thousand views per snap. Got deleted. What else is there? YouTube. What else? He didn't really start on YouTube, so that's it. He's been deleted from everything, and we're going to talk to him, and we're going to answer some hard, hard questions. So everyone give it up for j Dog. Uh, hello, Justin Ryan. G'day, how are you going? We're very well. That's um, so good. So we're, we're we're just going to ask you some questions about some of the some of your content because there's a lot of people who like I see the comments a lot of people who just legitimately want to know what the fuck is going on. What ma- what made you want to get into social media? Let's start with that. To be honest, I saw Percy English when he started, so I decided to do it too. Wait, so you saw Percy Inglis? Yeah. And and then you you thought to yourself I can do this yeah and then so what was the first video you, that you did that that like went well ah uh, me and Jem Jem on the train saying we're dating now all right so so you and Jem Jem went nuts right yeah we and, went nuts like, yeah so and your Facebook page grew to what how how big seventy three k and eighty k followers and and how and and then they got hacked or something no they got deleted. Okay, so 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 you and Jem Jem did that for a while. Yeah. And then why did that get deleted? I think I was posting too many in too many but too much videos and inappropriate stuff on my Facebook. Okay, so so what do you mean inappropriate? So to start with, what was inappropriate with you and Jem Jem? What were you doing with her that was inappropriate? Cuz I've never like I I, I was 
I only heard about you after the Gem Gem shit. I never even saw any of it. I mean, which really? sucks because I really no, I wanted to. to. I know. I yeah. yeah. I think I was um going a bit too far about like sexualities. You know what I mean? So you're being a bit bit sexual with Gem Gem in videos. Yeah. Plus, okay. I was making my own videos. Plus, I was talking about I'm gay, I'm bisexual. While you were with Gem Gem. Um, after. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess I guess the question on everyone's lips is: Is the character or is the person people see in the videos you, or is that someone you pretend to be to get views, comments, likes, shares, reaction? That's actually me. That's all me. Yep. Wait, but so if you say that though, then that means. You have to be gay one week with Trey. <laughs> gay one week with Trey. And then the next week, you have to be looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I like... I like... There's nothing wrong with gay marriage or being bisexual. It's like, I'm confused, to be honest. Like... Okay, yeah, you're right. There, there's, there's totally nothing wrong with that. You're right, but yeah. I guess just, just for the people who watch your shit, and I see the comments, I read them. People are always like, "Is he actually gay? Is he, is this, is he like the greatest actor of our generation? Is he just putting all of this on, or is he legitimately just like?" Flip flopping, he's gay one week and then he's straight the next week looking for a girlfriend, and then his girlfriend cheats on him, and then he's back to being gay for a week, and then the weekend after he's, you know, found a new girlfriend. So, so what would you, your sexuality, not that it matters and not, and no answer is bad, what would you say your sexuality is? Straight, gay, or bisexual, or anything else? Um, it's confusing. All right, so you're confused, and that's yeah. okay. That's 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 yeah. a fine answer. All right, no worries. So, the videos you did with Trey, where you were passionately kissing him, <laughs> um, yeah, that was a wheel. He kind of liked it because he couldn't stop doing it to me. So, all right, okay, so, so that's real. All right, well, there you go. <clears throat> so, so where do you want to go with this? Could because because like and for those of you who don't know Justin Ryan like he will walk down the street and he will get like he will get so like uh, maybe it's just in Brisbane Queensland Australia but he will get like mobbed by people who know who he is who watch all of his videos like and, and he has all of his social media followings have been deleted he has zero on everything so he is more renowned than like some really, really big celebrities in Brisbane. So where do you want to go? Like, what is your plan? Do you have a plan, first of all? And if you do, what is your plan? What, what do you want to do with all of this social media shit? What do you want to do with it? Um, to be honest, I am coming back, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to do more... I'm going to do pranks around SoftBank in the city... That should be amazing, and I'm coming back to a new fish end of the year. All right, so you're going to continue to make videos, but let's just say in 10 years' time, what do you think you'll be doing in 10 years' time? I'll probably be at home, have no wife, just chilling in my bedroom, <laughs> making videos, probably still going viral, having the... Best life of my year. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. If that if that's what you want, dude. That's what it's about. Yeah. That's, well, as long as as long as you're doing it for what you want. But well, like, I, I've I, I haven't seen it, but you know, you've told me about it. So so sometimes because of some of the the content that you post. It's a bit controversial, and it and and you really know how to upset people, and that's and like that's something you're very very good at. So, if you were to walk out in into public in the city of Brisbane, how many people would say, "Oh, I love your stuff, man! I love your stuff," and how many people 
would say, fuck you, fuck off, I hate you? Um, It's like 50-50. People come up to me, get photos with me, and if you say, fuck you, Justin Ryan, I say, why are you watching my videos in the first place if it's going to make you upset? Come off the grass, man. Like, really? That's fair. Like, seriously, if you don't like it, fuck off. All right, so 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 you know that that the stuff you post annoys some people. Yeah, then why are you following me or why are you like liking the video? If you don't like me, then why are you liking my videos? That means you like me. So, do you do you like annoying people? Um, if they don't want to annoy me, I want to annoy them. Yeah, but but shade. but if 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 it, if if. It, if you weren't showing the video to anyone in particular, and you're making a video, like what what go what's the process? What do you think in your mind? I'm going to make this video. Like, do you think do you like when Michael and I make a video? It's like, oh, will will people think that this is funny? So yeah. when you're making a video, what what do you think? Do you think? Will people get annoyed at this? Will people think it's funny? Will people relate to this? Like, what what do you want people to think when you're making a video? To be honest, I want people to hate me and like me at the same time. So, yeah. All right. So you, Wait, well, no, no, I can see that. So it's like you can either be nothing, or loved or hated. So famous or infamous, and that's the same thing because it's better than just being plain. Yeah. So you get off over like being loved if people love you, but if people hate you, that gets you off just as much. I'm kind of used to the hate now. I'm just used to but it. But did you when you were first making videos with Jam Jam, did you did you would you prefer a hundred people hate you or no one even notice you? Um hundred people hate me. Alright. I can see that drug. Yeah. More haters make you more famous. So, okay, what so are you? Facebook famous. Yeah, sure, he's just shown, uh, for those listening, he's just shown his, there's a tattoo on his neck that says Facebook famous. So, again, I'll, I'll talk about the future. What, what do you want to do in like, how are you going to be making a living in five years' time doing what you're doing? I have to, um, I have to figure out some way. I probably have to, f- date a really famous chick on social media <laughs> yeah so to boost my like fame up there to plus support me and her family if you have a baby soon or how yeah. old are you right now 22 years old all right so you're still a baby and how old were you when the gem gem shit happened i think it was yeah it was 16 17 holy fuck yeah so you were full kid, and then and then now you're just 22, and you just yeah. residual fame. Yeah. Do you want to be a dad one day? Um, that's a hard one because if you if you want to be a dad, it's like a risk for guys. Like she could tell you to fuck off. I'm getting child support on you. You're fucked now. See you later. Bye. It's their fault. That's what you're saying. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Justin, and 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 uh, forgive me for being blunt, but but this is something that people will want to know. So, you, you know, sometimes sometimes other influencers like Marcus Dibble and stuff like that, you, yeah. know, you know, get upset with your content and say, you know, oh, he's 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 mentally disabled, blah blah blah, and and you know, your your reply is often, you know, oh. Uh, you know, stop making fun. I, yeah. I have this, this, and this. Yeah. So, 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 what exactly? What, what exactly have you been diagnosed with? What, what is? What are the mental problems, if any, that that you have? Um, I got epilepsy, schizophrenia, depression, and autism. So is that? Autism, so yeah. is that something you were born with? Yeah, I was. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so there you go. So. Before you think about commenting a hate comment on any of Justin Ryan's videos, just remember that you're commenting on someone who has a, a host of mental illness problems. So, yeah, fuck, that was something that always like pissed me off because people was oh, fuck this, fuck this guy. But like, 
Yeah, anyway. But I actually planned the whole Marcus Devil videos and stuff like that to beast my fame up there even more. Even Jimmy Jackson, I can admit that. All right, that so... That was my plan for the whole good, time. Yeah. All what right, do, so... What do you personally think of Marcus Dibble? <laughs> um, to be honest, I don't... I think Marcus Dibble is like exposing people for the wrong stuff what they do. I can admit he's a bad person, but a couple of times he did tell me to kill myself, but that was too far when somebody has depression and suicide stuff. Well, I think first off, if you tell someone to kill themselves, that's a fault in yourself. So, like, it doesn't matter if they have a mil- mental illness. Like, that's pretty fucked from him. Yeah, it is, to be honest. I can't... I did say it back, but... Is a two-way street. If you want to say it to me, I'll say it back to you. Well, you never started it, right? I did start it by calling him out, but... but oh, you so never said kill himself. No, he said it to me first, but I said it back to him, so, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, so, so you, you like, you, you're like you notorious for calling people out. So, so who have you called out? Jimmy Jackson and Marcus Silva. What Is about... Didn't you, didn't you do Isaac Butterfield? <laughs> I tried to because he called out my girl Michaela. Tesla. And there was something else. I swear there was someone else as well. No, that was all. But yeah, okay. So you like calling people out? Why Move Jimmy it. Jackson first off? Um, I don't know. I was just pissed off on that day. I didn't know what I was doing, and I posted on his Facebook on uh, say I'm coming in in New Zealand. I'm gonna stay at your house. I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah, and he reacted back to me, and I didn't know that was going to go viral. To be honest. Yeah, but you do it hoping that that you'll get a reaction. Hoping, because Jimmy yeah. Jackson's a, like he's a really he's been, nice dude. He's yeah, a good, he's, he's a good guy. I love him. I yeah. love you, Jimmy. But but um, all right. So so moving forwards, uh, like with your social media. So you you're single. Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, I just broke up with my girlfriend because she cheated on me. All right. So so this is the other thing that I think a lot of people want to know when you post things like. Um, looking for a girlfriend and then a week later or you post a photo with a girl and then a week later you you say something like all girls cheat oh, I'm single again and then you'll post a video kissing Trey and then you'll be like I'm straight again so so what do you want moving forwards in terms of I relationships really, I really want a girlfriend but the stuff I say it goes a bit too far and people believe that too much. But. but but do you want a girlfriend for your videos or do you want a girlfriend for after the videos? I actually want a girlfriend at like full extent, like relationship wise. Have you ever had that? Have you ever had a proper girlfriend, a girlfriend that doesn't want to do videos with you? I did, but... Who? Georgia. Georgia. I swear to God that... Yeah, okay. She wanted me but she couldn't make up her mind what kind of guy she wants because i hacked her phone and she was messaging at a guy saying i want you big really i want to meet up with you again (laughs) yeah so that doesn't sound like a serious relationship how long are we with her for i was we were back on off back on on but i didn't for yeah for how long off and on so what was the longest you were together for the longest period of time that you were together for a year but i didn't know she was cheating on me okay so she was cheating on you during the year that you were with her yeah all right so that sounds a little disingenuous so maybe all right so so at the end of the day justin ryan just wants a girlfriend that he can not for videos not for videos i got a love all right, but yeah, all right. So how are you gonna going about finding that? Because if you ask for girlfriends on social media, you're gonna that get you're gonna works. get those types of people. Yeah, that never works. If you get girls on social media, they just want followers, fame, attention, and, and cash and cash money. Mm-hmm. Cold hard cash, cash. cold hard cock. Cold hard cash, yeah. cold hard cash. Cold hard cash, cold hard. Cock. Yeah. They just want cash, money, fame, cloud, followers. That's all they care about. Okay. All right. So, so uh, moving away from what you want now, let's look back at what you've done previously. So, so you and Trey did. So Trey Anderson is a uh, an influencer. We will that, be prank calling him later in this podcast. Yeah, but but for now, he's he's an influencer that used to live with Justin. 
and and they used to do videos together and and they used to make some very controversial videos together yes yes that is correct okay so 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 what is your relationship like now with trey i'm not friends with him because he just ignores me he keeps talking about pokemon go like really (laughs) and plus he always goes to his friend's house goes there like four weeks two weeks one week and he always comes back on wednesdays to collect his money and he's always fucking off so i'm not his friend no more Oh, so Trey and Justin currently are not friends. So uh, there you go. So hence why we're going to prank call him. So so how did you meet Trey? By the way, um, free school, but I didn't know I was going to live with him. To be honest, but he's never home anyway, so that's not really living. So how did you meet this uh, Michaela Tester? Free Julian Woods. So how did so ju, so how did explain what happened? So Julian said called you and said, "Oh, yeah, I got this fucking chick." Oh, do you want some some bags, man? I got this chick. I got this chick. You should fucking meet her. We could make some vorals together, bro. We could make some vorals. I got this chick, right? She's fucking hot, bro. Yeah. So, how did you meet Michaela Testa? Feed Julian. Um. Then Michaela. So, what did Julian exactly say to you to introduce um, you to her? Let's go to Cold Coast. We're meeting Michaela Testa. I said, okay. All right. It's pretty straightforward. Really straightforward. Actually, it's very, very blunt. All right, so so you met Michaela. So have you actually kissed her? No, she doesn't like me that way. So if you could have any girlfriend in the world right now, who would you have? Um, Good question, good question. Um, Probably... Hey, look at me. Good he's guy. A, yeah, he's a guy. Ignore him. Um, It's got to be um Lily Brown. She's quite attractive. Yeah, she's pretty hot. Yeah, I can admit that. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I know that. So we did that the other day. Woo! <laughs> do, do you do you know where Jem Jem is? Do you still talk to her? No, I don't talk to Jem Jem no more. Is it true she used to live in a cave? Um, that's I, not true. And eat bugs to survive. No, that's not true. <laughs> So you don't talk to her anymore. Why is that? What happened? What, how, come, how come you guys don't even talk? You you guys were in a serious relationship and went to not even talking anymore. What the fuck happened? Um, because she tried to inject me with drugs. So yeah. What do you mean? So what? So she walked up with a syringe full yeah. of meth and tried to inject you in the city park. Yeah, at night time. All right. Well, 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 no, no. Wait, off. wait. Is that real though? Yeah, I'm serious, man. Like. Wait, wait, she okay, okay, okay so talk us through it. So you're in the park with Jam Jam. At night time. Happens. Yeah, at night she time. She tried to say, oh, you should try this. Try what? What drug was it? Ice. All right, Inject so she had a syringe full of ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so man. she had a syringe full of ice, and then what? She said, oh, can you try this, man, like. I said no, Jamma. Okay. And then, and then what? And then, and then you said no, and she got upset at you. And I said, I'm walking out. I'm breaking this relationship up. Stop doing drugs. You need to stop doing it. And I'm not dating you no more. See you later. Is there is there anything? So so you mentioned that you have you know you have you've been diagnosed with a few uh, mental health issues. Yeah. Is there anything that Jam Jam has? I think she's got a bit of autism. So, so that's that's all, just a bit of autism. I think she has a bit of Down syndrome too. Hi <laughs> 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 everyone, that's fucking male. That is funny. That's the best line you said tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, Justin Ryan. Uh, do you think aliens exist? Hell no. There's no proof of it. They talk about Area 51, but they're not sharing that information because it's not true. So, America, you got it all wrong. All right. That's good to know. All right. So, Justin Ryan doesn't believe in aliens. Thank you very much for coming on our podcast. Wait, wait. It's question time. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. We have, we have, we have get many. Get my phone. Get my phone. I've got questions for Justin Ryan. We've got some, some people have sent in some questions for you. Oh, I can't stop playing with my roles. You okay, man? Ha 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 
All right, so we're on to a, a sub-segment uh, connected to the guest segment. So we've asked people to ask Justin Ryan uh, questions. So this sub-segment uh, is called... Maintained by Shundayana. And... Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, it's not... I don't come up with it, but it's just... Yeah, so thank Matthew. Right. The first question is from Ethan Taang. E-T-H-A-N-T-A-A-N-G. How did Marty turn out to be an absolute legend? Like, some people are born tall, some people are born short, some people are born legends, some people aren't. Next question is from Will.Griffin, and he has asked, Why does Michael look like a witch? Justin, can you answer this one? Because he's all moist to shell and bones. Bone, bitch. He's all moist but shell and bones. Yeah. All right, the next question is from Floyd underscore Bochenek, B-O-C-H-E-N-E-K, and he has asked, why does Justin act gay and show that he is but say he's not? Um, Because it's called bisexual. Oh, so you identify as a bisexual? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Who's hotter out of me and Marty? I think Michael is. If you had to suck one of us off, who would you suck off? Probably twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> so if we both had twenty dollars and said, "Hey, hey, hey, take this money, suck us It'll off," it'll be forty. So uh, no, no, no you two. have to pick only one. I would be offended if you sucked him off. I wouldn't let you suck me off if you accept. If I'd you probably took suck it. you off, Marty. So you find Marty hotter than me? No, but you got a girlfriend, so I can't do that. Both That's of us have girlfriends. Girlfriend. Oh, really? <laughs> pick one. Who's hotter, me or Marty? I like to pull you by your hair, Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I'm prettier. I'm prettier. Justin. All right. Next question is from Trenticles underscore 87. Hey, guys. You still got to answer these important questions. Long time listener, first time bovine molester. Can you guys give me any suggestions on how to approach my first sexual experience with a plump heifer? Any pointers would would be much appreciated. Yours truly, ten, Trenticles underscore 87. You legends are gods among mere mortals. So my advice would be to, uh, to, to know what you want before you even go into the situation. Like, if, if, know, know what you want to get out of it and then put yourself in that situation. If you want to get a load off, if you want to kill a cow, if you want to have a fight with it, if you want to beat it to death, if you want to chase it, if you want to chase 10 of them and corner three of them and then end up grabbing one and peeling its skin off of its fucking muscles and tossing its skin into the water and its nerves are still kicking in as it sort of tries to kick you off but you sort of pin two of its hooves down and enter it and then sort of just fuck away and you come and you sort of, it's still flailing about and bleeding out a little bit like that that's what you got to do so just figure out what you want to do and then do that that is my advice so the only your only problem is doubt and fear so solve those problems by knowing what you want and taking it and getting it and doing it don't fuck around just get it done i don't want to see this question again just do it all right, next question is from Dogger underscore one, and he has asked, have you ever shelved a pinger? Yes. <clears throat> have you? Hell no, I'm not doing that. I might go pinger off to America. All right, next question is from... <laughs> I love that. that it's from beautiful. M. Kenani, and he has asked, how did you get famous? From hard work and consistency, bro. <laughs> Plus, born with it. What about Maybe Justin? How did you get famous? famous? How did you get famous, I'm Justin? famous because I'm beautiful and lovely and sexy. And I get all the cheeky babes in my bed every night. It's actually wise, wise I'll beyond his years. Next question is from Sophie.Salinaz. Do you guys feel intimidated or annoyed by excess love, lust, hate, envy, etc. by people on Instagram? No, we don't feel any of those emotions because we have learned to realize that it's just a numbers game. If if a hundred people follow you, one of those people will try and annoy you. If it's a hundred people follow you, one of those people is going to hate 
on you. One of those people is going to love you. So it's just literally a numbers game. You can't please everyone. So don't let it affect you. And always breastfeed until you're 15. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> Fucking cunt. Ah. Next question is from uh, Luca. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Luca Voss underscore, and he has asked, would you ever have a threesome with Michael and the cow? If so, would you beat Michael? Uh, I don't know if... Uh, no, I wouldn't have a threesome with Michael and the cow just because I know he'd be panicking the whole time and looking out for the farmers and trying to like make sure the cow's having a good time. It stresses me No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Un- unless, my, un- unless I dragged Michael's un- unconscious corpse to the cow paddock, uh, then, then maybe, yeah, yeah, I've, yeah, then maybe. But if he's conscious... No, I wouldn't do it, and I wouldn't beat Michael because I wouldn't be dragging him to the field if he was conscious. I wouldn't need to. So the cow thing is strictly a thing that I do. If he's around, he's going to be calling cops, which means I'm not going to do it while he's around. So I do it when he's not around. Luca Voss. Next question. J underscore Dan 34 has asked, what is the meaning of life and a and Michael, are you and Lachlan still dating? Let's go with the first part. What is the meaning of life? Uh, yes. Followers, looks, uh, and money. I'll go F U N. What do you think the meaning of life is, Justin? Enjoying life and having parties every weekend because you only live once. Same it's as like me. You can't. Fun. Fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> and yes, me and Lockie, he, he's moved to Gold Coast. That is sad. Yeah. It's, next. It's still going on. Next question is from Holly underscore dog, and she has asked, did Justin Wyan have bum sex with that Gemma bloke? No. What the fuck are you talking about? Never <laughs> anal. Never anal. No. No. Whoa. Hold your horses there, mate. Till the cattle come home. Everyone hold their horses. Because that didn't happen. Next question is from Timothy, Timothy underscore Miles underscore podcast question. What's your best memory together when you were kids? My first kill. My first kill was it's up there. I was um, scattered on 15 pingers hunting around with my cousins and some distant immigrants, which I'd never met before. And we stumbled across a uh, herd of cattle. Some were quite young. Some had just uh, given birth, and of course they were quite slow, because you know they're only a few like hours a old. And, and we sort of there was a boulder. We swarmed one, we swarmed three, we swarmed five, and let's just say that uh, we had our beef serving that night. <laughs> uh, podcast question from Shadik ninety three. Who the fuck is Justin Ryan? Justin, who are you? Look me up. Look me up. You'll find so much information on me on Google, plus YouTube, plus everywhere. The whole world knows me. On the baby. news. On the news. Sean Manette. Sean Manette. Facebook, Facebook famous. famous tattoos. Look him up on Facebook because he's got a page, I think. I uh, got deleted. Too many haters reported it. <laughs> All right. Last question from uh, Marcus. M A A Y Marcus May. Would you do a boxing match with Box Boy? Yes, it would be very unfair. He's a piece of shit, skinny shit. So fuck off, Box Boy. I would love. It'd be unfair. It'd be like fighting a a child. So yeah. Yes, I would, but it would be unfair. So it's probably not that good to do. Box but- Boy is like like a small piece of cake. Yeah, that's that's how he's often described. It's like if you chuck a muffin, muffin um, to the wall. So the reason why he's is. gotten so many followers is because he's paid cunts shout to shout him out and then it's built him up from shout outs who have heaps of fucking followers and now he's huge. He's got like 2.5 mil or some shit and his content, if you watch it, you'll see it, is like, it, it's why the world, it's worse than like famine. It's so fucked. And if I ever see him, I will spit in his face and I'm willing to go, I'll get... Apparently, hitting someone compared to spitting in their face 
If you spit in someone's face, it's worse than hitting someone. I will spit in his face and I will do three months to spit in, I'll hit and spit in his face and I, I'll, I'll hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then. <laughs> hey, that redeems it. That redeems it. If you kiss the cunt, it fixes it. Love with hate, snake. Love is in there. Fuck you, box boy. You can suck my box. All right. That, uh. <laughs> okay, that's the end of that segment. <laughs> So our next segment has been renamed to Haitian Fainam. And it's a segment where we just do a prank call. You should call my brother. He will be funny as fuck. You have a brother? So alright, so what's your brother's number? I'm Damien. Hello, who's this? Hello, it's Damien, who's this? Hey Damien, uh, I'm just a uh, producer from Channel 7. Uh, my name's uh, uh, Mary Winfield. I'm just uh, calling in regards to an application put in by your uh, stepbrother, Justin Ryan. Is that is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, he, he's sort of been shortlisted for uh, for making the show, so I'll, I'll cut to the chase. Um, but we're, we're sort of looking for uh, family involvement a little bit this year. So we were just sort of wondering what your availability was in uh, sort of early December and late November. Yeah, yeah. W- would you be available to come to Sydney for filming in, in sort of late November, early December? And, of course, we will pay for flights and accommodation. Come. Sorry, come again? If Justin makes it past the yeah. short list... We will be uh, filming from late November to early December. Would you yep. be willing? He, he's listed you as a, a support network as part of his family. Would you be willing to come to Sydney in late November and early December as part of uh, the filming process? Yeah, yeah right. Would you be available for that? Great. So I've just got a few other questions uh, just about Justin Ryan. So uh, we understand that he's had a bit of a uh, social media presence. Is that is that correct? Pardon? We understand that he's had a bit of a social media presence. Is that correct? Yeah, yep, yep. So, so what would you say he's, he's most well-known for on social media? Uh, YouTube. Yeah, so, so what type of content would you say he's most well-known um, for? Just- just comedy videos, um, trying to get famous, and yeah. Right, so so we're just sort of really trying to sort of fine tune what it is that he's, you know, renowned for. Because he'll probably be, uh, to be honest, he'll probably be the only influencer on Big Brother for next season, and and obviously we know that he's not like nationally big, but we just sort of want to know locally what he's known for. So so what would you say? Because I've tried to find him on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube, and I've contacted uh, Justin directly, and he says that all of his uh, social media platforms have been deleted. So, so I guess what we're trying to do is is gauge is gauge what 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 you can tell us, and also if you'll be able to come. So you've all, all already confirmed that you'll be able to come, but. Would you be able to tell us a little bit about what he does online, I guess? I'm, I'm just trying to make some notes here so that we can sort of shortlist the shortlist, I guess, is what we're trying to do here. Huh? He does satirical videos. Right. So so can you give me uh, an example of, of, of something? Anything to, like, just get a laugh and, um, yeah, just... I don't know. Become famous. That's what he wants to do in life. Or... Right. So, so, so this year. Okay. Uh, great. So, so this year we're on Big Brother. We're, we're sort of planning on having uh, half uh, housemates and half uh, 
I, I guess you could call them sort of farm animals. So there's going to be uh, six to seven cows, three goats, and also three sheep, and and as well as fifteen housemates. So there'll be thirty uh, beings in the house at once. How do you think uh, Justin would handle living with, uh, you know, a dozen cows and and and, and a few goats and and some sheep? So he gets along well with animals as well, though specifically. Family members as well. He gets along well with animals, though specifically. Has he lived with animals before? No. He hasn't, but but you know him to 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 deal well with animals. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So, all right. So that's good news. There's, there'll there'll also be some some uh, challenges on 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 the next season of Big Brother. So so Channel Seven, we're, we're sort of trying to revamp the show a bit, right? So there's going to be some uh, some pretty intense challenges. Uh, has do you know how Justin uh, deals with uh, being sort of uh, uh, held underwater for more than for more than ten minutes. Held underwater. Yeah. So if he was, uh, th- there's a challenge that that we plan on doing where where sort of each housemate has to you know hold their breath and and some of the cows we know to have a uh, a lung capacity of of ten to twelve minutes. So we we're just sort of trying to gauge if any of the um, humans would be able to compete there. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be, he'd, he'd be, he'd be right. All right, so so if if some of the producers held him underwater for ten minutes or so, he he should be able to handle that. Yeah. All right, sweet. Okay, great. So just just a few more questions. Sorry to invade your uh, time. I know it's quite late. We're just sort of trying to put everything together as we can as we're going here. But um, so so we sort of we've got our own uh sort of wardrobe uh, team that's going to be uh, working on the on the show. Uh, what would you say, uh, f- fashion-wise, if we uh, sort of put put Justin? I-, I know it's a bit, probably a bit controversial. If we put him in a bra and a g-string, what would be the reaction from his? He'll love that. He's actually done a video like that with that stuff. Oh wow! Oh, there you go! Oh wow! Oh, there you go! <laughs> That's great news. Uh, so, so, so there's a segment where we're planning on calling uh, "Kiss Who You Think Is Gay," and and basically we're just going to line up a few of the livestock and a few of the uh, more feminine-looking uh, males. Uh, do you think Justin would be okay with kissing uh, potentially, you know, a homosexual cow or sheep, or or maybe a homosexual? Okay, so 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 you would say he's quite quite open minded. Talk about yeah, yeah, him coming on the show, he's he's brother really coming on the show. All right, so okay, so so from some so from what you're telling me, he's quite open minded. He's he's sort of up for anything, and he's sort of done some pretty crazy videos, which is uh all, all I really wanted to uh, gauge from you, <laughs> which is great. Uh, j- just just a couple more questions, if you will. Um, so. So uh, th- th- there's also this sort of area in the the Big Brother house where they sort of uh, it- it's it's called the the punishment room and basically the producers are going to st- if anyone sort of forgets to wear a mic or loses at one of the games they're going to sort of strip them down naked and and put them in this uh, incredibly hot uh, sauna and there will be a a, a man in there sort of. Uh, you know, w- with a whip or whatever, he'll be he'll, he'll sort of be slashing them uh, w- with a. Uh, uh, nah, he'll love it. He'll love that. Okay, s- yeah, so great. All right, so all right. Okay, wow. So so he'll be completely open mind. It's quite it's quite a physical physically sort of demanding uh, process to go through. So uh, from from what our uh, producers have seen, you sort of lose about two to three kilos of uh, water weight there, and you're in there for a good hour or so, and. Uh, you know, you're sort of exposed to uh, infection, but but if if you know, do you think he'll be able to handle something like that? I guess yeah, is what yeah. I'm trying to ask. Talk no, what, about what's your him name? coming on the show. Pardon? Well, what's your show. name again? Sorry, I Paul Won- P- Paul Wanton from Channel Seven. Oh yeah. yeah. Talk about him coming on the show. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so that is. He'll be coming. On the show. So. 
Okay, so 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 from what we've heard, everything will be fine. He's very open minded, and he's he's very open to uh, you know the, the extremes like the punishment room. All right, so great. All right, thank thank you very much for your time. And um, I just uh, I, well, I guess I guess the last thing to do is to put Justin on the phone. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you going? It's Big Brother. Hello? We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. 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 Best.